Son, hold up. I got a I got a homie with the nose ring. I haven't noticed. I got this my man stunting in the background with the uh with the Dreamville's kicks. And then I got a black man on 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 Skype right now with no facial hair. And I don't trust my black men with no facial is, hair. Is, is grown in, brother. For for Black History Month, it came in right in time. Yo, you hey, you looking sick right now, Wazne. <laughs> <laughs> Look, no, did you my man. man. <laughs> no disrespect, bro, but you definitely look like you could be on an uh, episode of Law and Order right he now. He look like so. LeVar Burton, bro. <laughs> definitely. Sick <Exactly>. nigga. <laughs> definitely. Hey, the product placement is killing me, though. You got the B, you got the B swag right now. This I'm is fire. Uh, or the, the what? What's the, what, what, do you, what do you mean, B swag, nigga? Now you don't talk about how she be having the Bel Air. She always got Bel Air in the shot. Oh, B. Oh, man. Always picture. Who you thought I was talking about? Oh. This nigga got gangster on me for no reason. Yo, <laughs> yo, I went to Harlem this week, yo. Yeah, uh-huh. Shit was funny as fuck. Where'd you I go? Went to, you went to I went to, uh, yeah, I was over there. I went, I went and got a haircut and whatnot. Um, and my man just had took me over there. And as soon as I start talking, niggas stopped cutting. <laughs> and was like, <laughs> like, yo. Where's son from? <laughs> so, that nigga, so the barber like, nigga, you sound like Nipsey. I'm like, nah, I sound like me. So then oh, we talking man. and shit, and then nigga was like, yo, I heard Harlem just like Compton. <laughs> I was like, I don't even know how to even like, I don't even know how to even explain that to you. Like, how am I comparing those two? And he was like, nah, because it's like, it's small, but it's big, and it got the gangs, and this, that. But we ain't, we ain't like, at niggas like how y'all are. And then he was saying that um we start talking about the hats. So it was an OG in there. Oh head. Nigga like, wait, I can't wear my Yankee. This nigga was hot, bro. I'm like, yeah, no, nah, that's a game. That's a crip, that's a crip hat. So I'm breaking down <laughs> no, the, sir. the whole hat terminology to the barbershop, bro. And niggas is just like amazed. Like, it's so funny because we just sitting there just talking. It was another nigga in there asking me a million questions. Like it was cool, um, but it was love. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like they was just like, cause I was explaining, like I, you know, I've been catching a train lately because I've been checking out apartments or whatever. And uh, I seen a nigga. I got off on Rockaway, right? And it was a nigga wearing a fucking red paisley bandana, but it was tied to the front. And you know, I'm like. <laughs> Nah, like this nigga wildin'. Like, yo, I don't know what type of time this nigga. Oh, and I got me man. a box cutter now too, so I be, you know, I'm, I'm bobbing. Like, you know, what I'm saying? I, I don't know what type of time it is out here. So oh, Lord. the nigga walked past me or whatever, and I was telling niggas that they was like, nah, 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 you ain't. It's niggas that's really crazy. It's niggas that just really <laughs> like bandanas. <laughs> it's like niggas don't be on you like that. Like if you go to a thirsty block or something. Maybe if you ask him for it, you trying to set up on a nigga block or something, they'll like be on it. But now he's like, nigga, it's gentrified. Like, niggas ain't on none of that. And I was like, well, shit, nigga, I'm I'm on edge till anything else. So I'm going to say this, Trey. That is true, typically. However, as I understand it, since COVID and all the gentrified people went back to their suburban homes back in Iowa or whatever, like the old New York is back a little bit. Like I like that's what my cousin Amir tells me about Harlem. It's like now, and even when I went back in September, whenever, like I heard gunshots. It's like, whoa, when do we start doing this again? Yo, what's that, the- what's that what's that thirsty block? This the, the block that's that's always hot in Harlem. Like oh, oh I know. Oh, that Lennox? Block. And I went Lennox. It was it, it goes this, it goes like it goes this way. North Maybe South? it's one two fifth. Yeah, yeah. no one two. So, no, no one two five. Is there a is playground crazy. right across so the street from it? Mean, no, one hundred twenty fifth doesn't really pop off because it's nah, just too so it, was, it wasn't that. It's it's but, one block though. It was it was yeah. like crazy. Poly- I'm like yo. I'm gonna tell you right now. I'm gonna tell you right now. First of all, if you go up Park Avenue from like one twenty six all the way up, like one twenty fifth is like oh yeah, there's a Popeyes and there's a da da da. You mm-hmm. go up to 126 all the way up, that shit turns so into like a So, like, I was in, like, world. El Barrio. I'm, like, going through all the shit. I done seen Jim and him, Cam High School. He wasn't taking me on no tour or whatnot, but I had to go through there to get, because, you know, get back to, you know, go back to the city and shit. But got you. I got me a, I got me a chopped cheese, because y'all, y'all know I eat meat now, yeah. false. And 
pretty much it's niggas in the bodega just standing begging. It's another <laughs> nigga in there, a little ass kid just just doing whatever. And then you got Habibi oh, behind the fucking the thing. glass. He got he behind the glass. So he telling me, Habibi, what you want? You know, I got you this, 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 this. I'm like, bro, this is my first one. Give me the works. Hits me up. Look at Jerv. I can't because Jerv, no, Jerv tweeted. So this is like an alley oop to him. So then I get it, but I'm like, ah, I don't want to eat it yet. So he like, my homie, like, yo, you don't want to get a drink? So I get me a, a glass mystic. Like <laughs> classic. <laughs> glass mystic. You know what I'm saying? Because I had to keep it all the way. Huh? They still make that? They still make I said the same still shit. Still. I was like, I mean, I ain't seen this shit in like since 95. Bro, <laughs> it was classic, bro. So I, I had to get what? it. I was in Atlanta in like the late nineties, and they were like, they'd never heard of Mystic. I was like, "Oh, oh, that, yeah, that's crazy. They got crazy flavors." So I ended up getting that. <laughs> we get back in the whip, and it just was like hilarious. But Jerv, tell the people why, how you feel about, how you really feel about chopped cheese. Yo, a chopped cheese is like, like remember when Mitchell Ness had had all the fire jerseys and shit, like the authentic Johns. <laughs> that's a cheesesteak, my my, my G. <laughs> A chopped oh, cheese is the boy in the boy in uh downtown Newark that's selling the fucking uh 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 Carl uh, Banks jersey on that doesn't have the uh, has like the weird spider logo at the top oh, wow. corner or some shit. Like, what is a chopped cheese? I don't get it. Do y'all it's, like it's a why does New York burger. always have to, it's, it's a, a chopped it's not even a cheese steak. Burger. It's more, it's more all, burger than cheese steak. It's, yeah. it's burger meat, yeah, first bur- of all. I don't know meat. why you gotta shoehorn Philly in there. It's burger meat. So it's and a it's on and it's on a hero role. Yeah. That's that's really you get, all it is. You get what the fuck is a, a, what the fuck is a hero? I'm gonna right, right, say right, right now. My heroes right. wear capes. J- J- right. Jerv it's like a sub, bro. I'm gonna tell you what's going on here. A sub Jerv, is called a hoagie. No, no, yo. I don't know what the fuck y'all talking about. No, no. Trey was. Let me explain. Let me translate. Using Jersey lingo. I, 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 I speak <laughs> Germanese, so I'm gonna tell you exactly all what's right. going on here. <laughs> See what's happening here is that Jerv got really comfortable and accustomed in his <laughs> November until January 20th life, where like Philadelphia was exalted, rightfully so, praised and held on a pedestal, protected from any criticism <laughs> because they saved democracy. And at the yeah. time I said mm-hmm. they saved it and we're going to halt the slander until Daniel, until uh, New Year's. And then I said, you know what? No, we're going to halt it all the way through the inauguration of President Biden and Vice President Harris. And Jerv got accustomed to that. It's easy. You know, you start <laughs> riding first class, you get used to it. You can say things like, hey, yo, what is that? It's a bootleg, da-da-da. But Jerv, I'm telling you right now, we living in a post-January 20th world. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> hey, man. cheese ain't got nothing to do with a cheese Nobody steak, give a bro. fuck about no cheese. Hey. <laughs> so, so you trying to tell, first of all, y'all trying to tell me chop, a, a chopped cheese, that's what that's what it's called? A that's chopped cheese? Chopped cheese, bro. They, they, they invented it right there in Spanish Harlem. They invented it. Bro. It had nothing to do with a cheese steak, bro. Nothing. Again, hey, like cheese steak is thinly sliced beef. Mm-hmm. Pause. <laughs> chopped cheese. <laughs> it's, it's, it's ground beef. <laughs> Yeah. It's ground beef. It's ground beef. It, it, it's not even related. And a nigga might get really jiggy so with it. it's a taco? And they got the What's mayo. It like? It's a taco? They got the lettuce, tomato. You got all this shit that you putting in it. And then it's like really tightly wrapped. Yep. Am I correct? Let me tell you something. That is correct. That is okay. a chopped cheese. That, that is a chopped cheese. That shit has nothing to do with Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now. Because while we here, why, why have you? Philly cheesesteaks not that good. Wow! Well, listen, brother. That's the, so the problem. Is is that well? The problem is is that when you came to Philly or whoever laced you, however it happened, you know, I'm not. I don't ask questions. You know what I mean? Um, whoever laced you probably got it from one of these fucking tourist tourist spots. You know what I mean? That that's like so. What's that's the like spot? Nah, it's it's Kabibbles, right? Iskra Bibbles is only fire for the uh, for the chicken cheese steaks, my G. Oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> Any, anybody, anybody told you us wise, you yeah, know what I mean? Like right. they, they not really, they, you're not living. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like me personally, me personally, my spot that I went to, you know what I mean, was in the Shameless hood. It's plug. closed down. They they a little franchise, right? They got a spot on South Street, gyms and shit, right? You don't want to go to that joint. The new fire spot in Philly, it's it's a historic joint. It's called Delisandros. Eh, it's straight. But you ain't really got to go nowhere fight, for it. You dying on a hill for something that's straight. 
Oh, <laughs> bro. Um, first off, fam, it's not straight. All you right? just said you know it, I'm saying? though. No, 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 no. You got to... First, that's just like saying for this chopped cheese, right? right? That's supposed to be so good. <laughs> I'm sure there's a fire spot in Harlem that really makes a banging chopped cheese. But there's probably a tourist spot that's right in the little gentrified area of Harlem that, that, you know what I'm saying, that's probably putting like the fancy mayo on it instead of just the jar to say mayo. Right. Got you. You can't go okay. there. Okay. Don't so, go to, so, don't so go you to can't Pats go to the gourmet there. Philly cheese spot? Nah, bro. If, 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 if the cheesesteak spot was in somebody's rap video or R&B video, you don't want to go to that joint. You're not going to your Pats, your Genos. Mm. First of all, we're not going to them because they don't, you know what I mean? It's all types of, it's Black History Month and we're not supporting mm. nobody that don't support us. So we actually cool on fuck Pats, fuck Genos, and that's been me since day one. Wow. But you don't want to go to them joints. You don't want to go nowhere on South Street because that's the tourist block. You don't want to go there. You come to the hood, you know what I'm saying? So I, you sending us to you. Southwest? I mean, Jerv Knight has smoked you know, you might, Death Row I mean, East. Listen, what about Max is, Jer- Jerv is what about trying Max to get is? us killed for a cheesesteak. He's trying to send us to Southwestern line. So Jerv look, trying to line you up. All of our bomb listeners do not go to yeah. Southwest Philly <laughs> looking for robbed. food. Nah. You will Jerv get now. lined. <laughs> hey, no, listen, honestly, y'all can come to Southwest, bro. Southwest getting gentrified all the same, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, my block ain't gentrified, but oh. two blocks <laughs> over gentrified. Right? I just, I just want to make that clear. You know what I mean? I'm still I, I'm still ten toes down. You know what I mean? Mm. I'm still here. Mm. But uh, you know, uh, Max's. I mean, I think you asked about them. Yeah. They overrated. Overrated. Overrated as shit. You still ain't give but, us a fire spot yet, Jerv. You, you said, basically Della said Sandro's every spot was decent and overhyped. Larry's. Larry's is fire. Larry's. Okay. That's the John. Yeah. That's the John. Uh, that's it's actually right across the street from St. Joe's. Like the OG Larry's is right across the street from St. Joe's University. Mm-hmm. That's the joint that literally anytime somebody, any time an athlete come to Philly, they take him to Larry's to do the uh do the whole photo shoot with the cheesesteak and shit. That's where Cole would always go when he came home to get his cheesesteak. Oh, or now, whatever. It's, now it's home. So Larry. I know now they claim to go. want to claim my man, man. Give my man, you should have gave my home. man his flowers while he was alive, fam. Y'all gutless. We're not Philly. Philly. We're not unbelievable. Doing, we're not doing hey, that. man. So long, long story <laughs> short, long story short, Jerv has told us about many regular straight uh, Philly cheesesteak spots. My experience with a chopped cheese, New York, thumbs up. I love it. That's, I'm glad what you kind of cheese are they using? That is yeah, the I mean, one. honestly, I wasn't. It's too you many. To for to one, it's too many. It's too many bodegas. It's too. It's, it's it's honestly. It's like one nigga telling me about they borough and who's the best. Like I right. don't. I can't. I, I, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get decision fatigue. So I ain't even trying to make that run on by my own, by myself. Trey, I'm gonna tell you right now. There's no way. If anyone says this borough has the best, they're mm-hmm. lying because it's every too much. It's so big and got so many options. There's no such thing as the borough has the best. It might be the best one in the borough. So mm-hmm. I might tell you. Yo, go to 179 and Hillside and hit up that uh, you know, corner store. And they got great uh great sandwiches, great chicken cutlets, all that stuff. But I can't tell you, Queens, I can't even tell you Jamaica has the best any of this. Facts. It's gotta be specific Facts. spots. So just By keep the way, that in mind. I officially have a borough now. It's lit. You know what I'm saying? Brooklyn. So you found the spot, you locked in on the I spot. Locked in. I'm it's in good. Stuyvesant Heights. Are you is that the same spot you showed me? No, oh. but I'm, it's the old Stuyvesant Heights is is, is but every, but everybody the, that the nice okay, the so nice part, the, the nice part, part. but everybody <laughs> that tell me not the part but, big no no here's the thing everybody tell me yo that's a that's a good area so that means yeah, it used to be the hood twenty years ago yeah and now yeah. I can go jog with my white friend. <laughs> with a dog 100%. why you walk a dog at two in the morning there you go like I, it, I but I I can tell how story New York is. And how shit used to be, and just looking at it now, if you from here, you would be mad that a lot of shit has been the table has been shaking a little bit because again, that's like somebody coming to Compton and trying to do some some bullshit. Um, but like the culture here is dope. I ain't fucking with this snow day though. Um, that shit. Yo, cool. how, yo, how are you adjusting to that? So Have I haven't you stepped outside yet. So I didn't even no. I, I mean, I've been in the snow <laughs> before, but today was supposed to be the one. So I ain't yeah. even leave the crib because they sh- we got an alert. Don't the city don't. the city shut everything down. No cars. 
on the road, and then also nothing open. So I prepared. I, you know what I mean? I hit the grocery store yesterday and, and, and whatnot, and I just been in here. But, like, again, like, it's kind of similar to, like, quarantine, dog, because, like, you can't really do nothing anyway. I'm just thinking in, in my mind, like, how does one function, right, season veterans, so which Amin and Waz, right? Back in the day when y'all had a shorty, how do you choose the right <laughs> shorty for a snow day? And then secondly, <laughs> this is such a great question. <laughs> how how do you prep for a multi day snow day? So usually with a storm that big, and Jer, because Jer, Jerv is actually he's good because he's a northeast cat too, so yep. he knows all about this. A storm that I mean, big, you gonna just know the Philly disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> a storm that big, you're going to know for a few days that it's going to be a big one, mm -hmm. right? Like, because the news, they're going to be going crazy. Everybody who knows you is going to be talking to you like, yo, you know such and such is going to be crazy. They're saying it's going to be 15 inches. They're saying it's going to be the biggest joint since 96. They're saying this. They're saying that. Like, you're going to be hearing about this for days before it happens. So you have time to prepare. Mm -hmm. If you live close to like, the Chinese spot is going to deliver no matter what. Like, mm -hmm. there's nothing that's going to stop Facts. them Facts. from delivering grub. So if you cool with eating some Chinese food, you'll have that. But you might want to just get shit to stock up in the crib so that you could have whatever drinks you want, whatever, obviously, food you want, so you could make it yourself. But just know the Chinese man is going to deliver no matter what. Like, nothing is going to stop these homies from getting the paper. Now, as far as shorties is concerned, <laughs> I, I think that that all depends on where you at. I, I feel like whoever you are having the least amount of issues with is who you should link up with. Because being in the crib all day for two days straight, because there ain't going to be no breaks, right. like at least two days straight. Because a lot of times it takes like two days. Maybe if it's a crazy one, even more for just the roads to be, you know, like drivable again, right? So I, I wouldn't, like, some people might say, well, you might like the one that does that one little special thing for you. So you might want her to be around. But I'm saying, like, mentally, because you're not going to have no breaks, and you're not going to be able to be like, yo, get out. <laughs> Whoever you in the good, the best space with mentally is who you want to be around. That's That's my, you know... Not that yeah. I would know about anything, because you know I've always been a one-woman man. There you so. go. <laughs> Way to clean it up at the end there. <laughs> <laughs> the advice and then clean up. Yeah. <laughs> no, man, like, he's right. Like You've got to be with the person you can tolerate for the longest amount of time, given a lack of outside. Because you know what? When you can go outside, mm -hmm. man, there's so many distractions. Like People don't realize this. You could, you could spend a whole day with someone from like we meet up at 11 and the day ends at like seven or eight at night. Mm -hmm. But there's so many things you're walking around and there's all these distractions that really the amount of time y'all got to stare at each other is actually quite limited. When you stay in the house, if it's not someone who's really down for some like real Netflix and chill, not like as a euphemism for mm -hmm. other things, or like, you know, I actually want to watch this on Netflix. I, I actually am interested. Says in no this. one ever. Right. But like, you know, every once in a while, like you got to, you got to have that mode. And if you don't, if you're with someone who does not have that mode, then it can, it can be a slog. It could be a slog. So I wouldn't go for, I would go for the person that you have the most amount of tolerance for one another in that scenario. Um, real quick. Did we have anything on the rundown that wasn't this movie? No. <laughs> it is a slow can, week. Can I go ahead, Jerf? Can I ask Trey Trey a quick question real fast what, though? What's the deal? Um, Trey, you 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 mentioned something. I just gotta clarify because you don't strike me as this type of nigga. <clears throat> you said that uh you you went to the grocery store yesterday. Right. I, feel, I call that bullshit, bro. I feel like you the type of boy to get your, your groceries delivered. Nigga trying to you do sound like, like an Instacart kind of nigga, man. <laughs> nigga. I won't lie. Yeah, That's it's crazy. crazy to me. And it's cold. It's cold for you, too. Like, 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 nah, you, you ain't go to the store. All right, so I'm like, so, 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 so,
<laughs> Trey doesn't have, yo, Jerv, I'm with you. Trey doesn't have regular shoes. You don't have oh no Air Force ones nah. that he could go fuck up in the snow. This one, nah. all he got is like exclusive. I got Solomon's, man. Do you have boots yet? You got Tim's? No, I'm not you wearing that. I got some yet? Solomon's, man. Some from, nah, you ain't going nowhere, Swiss, bro. bro from, you ain't going nowhere. Some Switzerland running shoes, bro. They got track at the Jerv, bottom. Jerv, I, you can't even wear Tim's. You got to wear some Tim's that you've been had. And I've been worn out. Oh, yeah. Not no fr- not, yeah. My apologies. Right. Yeah. So like, you're trying to yeah. tell like, me to go buy something to beat. No. Um, but <laughs> I will say, I probably, bro, I'd be easily putting in 10,000 steps for sure. But um, I hit I hear Whole Foods, right? And it was kind of hella fancy in there because I'm obviously I'm 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 in the city. So it's in a scenario of like, it's the cart you pull in. And you're trying to do this, and they got the bar there, and they got this, and all this shit, and and it's cool. But then I was thinking, like, damn, how I'm gonna carry all this shit back? So then I bought a fucking um, <laughs> basket. That's the well, because I talked to Naima. She told me to welcome to fucking uh, New York. Everybody got a basket, my nigga. You bought a basket? A basket, bro. I got a basket, but I got nah. the the swanky one though from Whole Foods, the actual Whole Foods brand one. You know what I'm saying? So I'm definitely looking like a fucking 33 year old white woman, but. Overall, I was able to <laughs> tug my shit all the way back to my spot. And uh wait, what's the basket? Is that the, like the, the yeah. basket the with wheels? Ones. The one that everyone mm. in New York has. Everybody one. in New York my, has my, one. My homies, my son's girl no, has everyone. one out here though, no, which is the weird. first time I've that's, seen it. I never seen it, that. You never before. seen it in LA or you never seen it? I never seen it so until you see it in the oh, train or nothing. Oh, my, my, people my, you wild and was nah. Was. That's, that's that's a no, recent was. development. Yo, all the way for decades in New York because the same basket you be using to mm-hmm. go to your laundry at the laundromat yep. is the same one Hold you up. get the groceries in. Yeah. Hold up. I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Okay. So there's the the laundry joint that you can yes, fold that's up, the one right? I'm talking about. And you make yeah. it skinny. Yeah. That's, that's what, what I'm y'all talking, talking about. about. What are you talking? I'm talking about something different. This is like almost like a hand yeah, yeah. pull. So, and it's like so a I'm about, claw. I'm about to drop, the, I'm about to drop like this on the chat to give you an idea. Yeah, like this a is hamper? different. I mean, I'm like I a know clothes you, hamper. So, yeah, but it's on wheels. <laughs> so in order, Facts, um, in order yeah. for me to live in New York, I gotta get this. I gotta get this cart. Is what you're telling me? And for me to live in New York, I'm, I'm good. Telling, uh, yo, because Derp, like, here's the thing: everywhere else or most other places in the country. People drive to the drive, grocery store. Drive, yeah, it's like, come you on, man. You take your groceries, you put it in the trunk, and you drive home. But, like, in New York, because you can't, like, even if you got a car, I'm not going to risk losing this good-ass parking spot in front of my building it's parking spot to yeah. go to uh, Gristides or whatever, or, or D'Agostino's, to put some <laughs> stuff in. By the time I come back, I'm going to be circling the block, the block for hours just to find a parking spot that might be so far that it's going to be a lugging of this groceries to get back. No, 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 no. My car stays where it's parked. You have mm-hmm. this kind of push basket thing that folds up like Waz said. You put your groceries in there. But the beauty of this basket is it also doubles as your laundry. Because when you got to go do your laundry, which is either in the laundry mat or in the laundry room in your building, Again, you need to transport this. You don't be walking around Not like I. a clown with your basket. <laughs> you put in all unit. that stuff... Or, in unit, good job, good job, Trey. Well, yeah, done. no, you told so me that was the key. So, I told, but I just I sent the Trey, I sent the picture. Look at it. No, Look at it right now. This is what it is. Number one. So, I told. So Trey what y'all no, telling me is? I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. Yep. Yeah. This is exactly exactly yeah, what I was no, talking this about. What, this ain't what I'm so, talking. No, about. I know what you're talking about. You talking about? And the, I've seen the, the, different the, designs. The, uh, metal basket one. I know what I mean. Talking about. Yeah. Uh huh. He's talking about the metal joint that folds right up. You like it nice and skinny. You can store it. Wherever you get it from, but yeah, that's that's yeah, that goes back to since I was born. Yeah. Like that's the shopping yeah. cart, I laundry standing, cart. Yeah. I was that's standing there. Like, you're telling me if I live in New York, the uh, the same thing that I transport my dirty drawers in will also house my strawberries and eggs and milk and shit. Is that's what you're telling me? Or you me? can get Jer- two Jerv if you feel you know up. what I mean. Away they about it, up, get two of them. <laughs> look at look at Jerv. Okay. Look at Jerv, man. You changed, bro. <laughs> I'm good, bro. I, I like to keep my dirty drawers and my food separate. Like that's just me. I don't. I don't really get into oh, that. But New York's crazy. a different place. You know what I mean? I I, I never crazy. lived there. Yo, speaking speaking of dirty drawers and food separate, man. <laughs> this Denzel movie. I I oh like. It's been a while oh since God. I've been so hyped for something like. Oh my God, Denzel, Rami <laughs> Malek, Jared Leto. Okay, murder mystery. Here we go. Hit play. <laughs> <laughs> and like an hour in, I'm like, 
Come on. <laughs> is, this, <laughs> is this the right thing? Are we watching oh, the right shit. movie? Um, it's you know what's so you know in a weird way you know what's because obviously. I review bad movies for a living. Me and Zach Harper and Anthony Mays on Cinephobe. If you're not subscribed to Cinephobe, please do. We review movies that are poorly rated on Rotten Tomatoes, 40% and under, right? Like we, we go hard. We watch some really terrible movies. Showgirls, Battlefield Earth, um, uh, I now uh, uh, Good Luck Chuck. Yo, we watch some terrible- Joe's after, Apartment. We watch, <laughs> we watch terrible movies, right? So- I'm accustomed to watching bad movies. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. But in my time, and we've done about 70 episodes of Cinephobe, I've begun to realize there's a pattern, right? Either a movie is good or a movie is so bad that we're going to sit back and laugh at it. But what you can't give me is a movie that is just mediocrely boring. And yeah. that's what this Denzel movie was, man. I was sitting there like, and I'm not bad for <laughs> suggesting this shit. I just was really. Uh, no, 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 no. You didn't do anything wrong. Hype. No, no, was, no. It was, no, let him say my bad. My bad. We my need bad to start keeping a tally of the things and people listen, recommend too, by <laughs> the way. I double down. was like, yeah, we could do that because it's a slow week. Cool. Jerv, you was like, all right, cool. But it's Denzel. So what can what can go wrong right. with a Denzel How bad movie, could it be? my nigga? Listen, we found that out. shit right there. That shit was. <laughs> I was waiting on something like, nigga, is somebody gonna die, nigga is like, what's up, bro? Like this shit. <sighs> so, we got to talk about all the things that that did go wrong. First off, Rami Malik as a cop, like as a like a take slick, that nigga smooth detective as a cop. I was like, it's nah, his, son. His it's, eyes fuck with a me cop. a lot. Bro. You're a lot of that's, things, but that's. You're That's the problem. The problem with Rami Malik is that he's got one gear, and that is dead yeah. eyes. And I'm gonna keep talking like yeah. this. Like, mm -hmm. like right. you, <laughs> you gotta have some different gears, bro. bro you gotta like shift right. up, sit down, but you can't. He's, he's not a cop. He's not. He's not anything other than a sociopath, right? Like, right. He's Mr. <laughs> Robot. That's cool. And Facts. the James Bond villain, the movie that even came out that I realized when I was, I was like, what right. happened to that James Bond movie while I was watching this shit? Like, terrible, terrible British accent in the Freddie Mercury oh, biopic, yeah, yeah. by the he, way. Like he, T by the way, just terrible that movie all was around terrible. That in the movie. movie. Right. I, so don't terrible. watch that. that. Terrible. I don't no. know how they gave that man awards I for it. Because it was a bunch it. of white people who were nostalgic <laughs> for that. It's like the people who liked the Tupac movie. Like they were just nostalgic for Tupac songs. Right. I'm not gonna lie, that shit was ass. Right. Of course it was ass. I ain't gonna. Didn't he, didn't and even the dude watch looked it. like Tupac and 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 Rami Malek looked like Freddie Mercury, but that's neither here nor there. He just miscast as a cop, right? And they're doing this whole like I definitely got like True Detective vibes. It's like True Detective, the movie, like some weird, you know, like cultish, occult type murders of young girls. Prostitutes leaving them like, and it's based in California, like one of the true detective seasons were, and it's you know it's just weird stuff, and they're hunting this killer, and Jared Leto, by the way, <laughs> he he's too good at playing a sicko. Well, man. I mean, he, he's a really convincing sicko. That's I'm my man with the long hair. Shout out to, shout out to <laughs> him for oh, staying in his lane. He's yeah, like, I'm great at playing sickos. I ain't going like, I'm not gonna be like Rami. Rami, you try some new shit. Me, I'm gonna stay right. Denzel too. Denzel's like, I'm really good at playing the 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 grizzled not, not the vet. Grizzles, not just the grizzled vet. Denzel's great at playing the grizzled vet who's been fucked over somehow. John Q, right. Equalizer, <laughs> like they all—all all right. these roles are like, uh, he got game. Uh, yeah. man, man on fire. On fire. Oh, man on fire was my what's shit. The, what's the one with uh Ryan Reynolds? Safe house or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. That was dope. Unstoppable. That was dope. Bro, oh, no, 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 that's thing about the, the train joint. But, but unstoppable the train too. joint, he's like, Unstop he's like he's disrespected also, at his he's job. Like, I'm yeah. great at my shit, but somehow I got fucked over somewhere along the line, right? He's awesome at that shit. Jared Leto, awesome at being a weirdo. Pedophile, Great. serial killer, like just generally imbalanced person. Rami, you got to stick to being sociopath, 
Like when when like, bro was just sitting there, bro, it was blowing me at the end. Like he just staring into space. I'm son, like, yo, what is happening? Son, they get him to the station. They, first of and, all, and, we don't even know if this homie so, actually did. So is it him. which did it come I'm to the point where Denzel the, just killed the, the niggas and they just was coming up with the excuse of that it was a rape? We don't That's know. That's what I'm assuming. It, it, it's, I, I think they want us to think that it was Jared Leto, but they probably were never but they going show, to but they showed Denzel the evidence um, to catch no him. girl. And she was like, yeah. Is that what, and, yeah, is that what they, they said that I'm going to mark yeah. it as, uh, uh, what's the name? A stabbing. And he's saying like, don't keep the angels because, let them, like, don't have no angels because every time, this nigga basically was a bad cop. Nigga, like, not a bad, not, not literally bad, but just bad at his fucking job. Like he was sh- nice. so, um, so like worked up into the, the job and like just jumpy the and job, fucking shooting crazy. motherfuckers. And <clears throat> he killed three prostitutes in the process, bro. So mm. wait, he I'm, killed I'm, three. I'm, so no, I'm they didn't sad. show Did all three. They only the showed movie? they only showed the one, one, but it's three girls and mm, all the girls that he posted you. he accidentally killed. Oh, but it's still. But listen, the, the fact that, that we got to think that hard when he shit was looking at him, I'm cool. Son, I missed it. I must. Nah. I must have tuned down and was on my phone when so he no, showed all that. So no, this is the thing. At, at the, the end, end of the movie, movie, they show it, and then he giving him advice <laughs> like basically play as fuck up. You know what I'm saying? That's all he <laughs> right, telling you is right, like, right, look, right, you gonna right. be here, you replace me, but just know you gonna fuck up on the job. Right. So basically, right. the whole right. run of it was like. Oh, what happened? And he had homegirl that worked at the um the morgue to do the paperwork and say his stabbings every time. So he would By get way, overly obsessive with right. it and just be like, but he really was out here just and he had his partner, his partner like, my nigga, come on, you shot another girl. Come on, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, by the way, by the way, shout out to uh not only the uh, old girl in the morgue who plays the mom on Snowfall. Mm-hmm. Of course, then, she was D'Angelo's yep. mom. D'Angelo's yeah. mom, and Sabaka, yeah. and Sabaka from The Wire, yeah, from season yeah. two. And also, yep. everybody hates season two, but Sabaka. And was also, fun. also, uh, Denzel's ex-wife is Claudia from Snowfall. Yep. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. wow! Damn, that is Look Claudia. This, they had yo. Look I wasn't mad at, at this you cast. Catching a, a bunch of snowfall. people, Durf. a bunch of people in this cast. And I'm like, yo, I seen yeah. you before. Hold on, can we talk about the beret that he yeah. sent, homie? Like he the wanted beret. homie to think that he found the beret, the beret on yeah, yeah, on um Jared yeah. Leto's yeah. like personal belongings or whatever, so he could give him some type of peace of mind. So so hold on, so Never. Jared Never Jared did Leto anything. He was actually just a sick ass nigga that was obsessed with crime. <laughs> and, and got hard. Hurt. Hey, he and his dick listen, got hard, man. He basically he basically just was in too deep. He was in too deep. Yeah. He wanted the Literally. attention. Wait, this nigga wait, tried wait, to turn wait, himself wait. in. I miss I missed all that shit. I yo, what a sick movie. That's what the, that's what the yes, was for. To make him forget, bro. Yeah, it was uh, it was it was so that he could, he ass. like he just wanted Rami Malik to think, yo, I found this in his crib. He's like the one actually, that actually had the girl go missing, blah blah wait, blah, blah blah blah. Is that why he yes, burnt everything yes. at the end? Oh yes. shit. <laughs> That's crazy. But also they murdered son. So but, like, it to, but it was to a point of know, like But they're they're looking for him though still, right? Like they the cops no, don't, they don't know, know. They so the him, thing right? is, is about the the um oh, wow. the fucking like Rick Ross and Nas say accidental murderers. This is what these niggas is, bro. These niggas <laughs> is just out here just fucking killing niggas on accident. But in order for that whole theme of the stabbing to go, Denzel was just planting motherfucking ber- he had those barrettes on deck. The clips, the hair clips. But it's so crazy because he obsessing now. He don't. It's like lying so much and believing your own lies. You know what I'm saying? But the but he's being hunted yeah. by the dead bodies pretty much because he's the one who's the actual killer, dog. He's yeah, the one because he's out here just fucking yo, shooting people. So but crazy. yo, Trey, oh, that's man. so crazy that they reveal that like basically in the last two minutes of the movie. I just, I literally watched it. I was like, because no, you're gonna think it's whack when, just because it was no when people action. Are like, you know what I'm saying? It's a slow. Nah, movie, for sure. Man. But I understand when directors be like, "Yo, I'm gonna have an ambiguous ending, mm-hmm. right? Like, we don't know exactly. It's up mm-hmm. to interpretation. What you think? Like, did Jared yeah. Leto actually do it? Are these cops? Did these cops just lose their mind and get obsessed mm-hmm. with one suspect? Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, all right, I get it, but like, 
the execution of this movie was just yeah no awful. it's it's nothing <laughs> listen despite me even breaking it down for y'all i'm still giving this shit a thumbs down bro i love denzel but that shit yeah. was rough it was fucking rough dog yeah love denzel i'm a fan of rami malik um jared leto i could generally take or leave but you know whatever um <laughs> don't watch this movie. <laughs> Spoiler rich. Don't watch yeah, that, this motherfucker. That was legit. That was legit two hours. I'm, so I saw everyone talking about it on Twitter saying this is how it ends. So I'm one of those people when, you know, I uh, I always push the pause or the or the play button just so I can see how much time is left. Because my attention span is, I don't have one, right? So like, I'm always like, damn, how much longer do I have? How much longer do I have? So I knew that the ending had to be trash, and there's ten minutes left to go in the movie. And niggas, and niggas in the desert. And I, they're at they're yeah. at the desert. I'm like, <laughs> well, I was the, waiting on. I was this, honestly right? waiting like, on the heel turn of just some action of Leto just like pulling out a gun, stabbing a nigga, trying to fight. Nigga nope. was out here just entertaining the time. So when so when um Denzel had the the flashback of of the girl that he shot, <laughs> and Jared Leto was like, all right, nigga, that's young me. You know what I'm saying? That's all it was. Was like, damn, they laid out the same way. All right, he about to be bugging out, and he also don't want himself to self incriminate himself. He like, look, this is not my first rodeo. Do this, dig these holes. I'm gonna go back and go get all this shit, and then I'm gonna burn all this shit, and then you're gonna be scot free. Here's the advice that he didn't have. That's why he was like, I know the symptoms, but the nigga kept killing girls, bro, because allegedly. These girls were doing their fucking jobs in like strange ass places when they were supposed to be. So they're coming around a tree and he just fucking trigger happy and he's like, bah. And like, you know what I'm saying? He's <laughs> a fucking sir. bad fucking Yo, detective. Sir. That's all it was. Yo, this you know, is a I sick, don't think about it. Movie. Like he was real jumpy when he was searching Jared Leto's apartment mm-hmm. and the radio, the police scanner mm-hmm. kept coming. Hey, we got to start shooting. Ah! He kept jumping yeah. every time. I was like, Yo, <laughs> nigga, you gotta have like better calm and go through this shit. Like, yeah, nah, he a cop. He wasn't. He wasn't a G. It was just one of those motherfucking serial fans. It wasn't no copycat or nothing. Bro, just was obsessed. Jared Leto, sicko, and then Denzel. All them niggas was sickos. That's all that shit basically was. Niggas is sick, sickos. Oh, that was the theme of that motherfucker. A nigga that, obsessed that, with the job. That's, a nigga that's, that's the, replacing the. That's the name of the episode, sickos. Rob. <laughs> N words of sickos. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, <yo. laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. What else we got, guys? We got I mean, anything else? You want to talk? I mean, what, what, what's your thoughts on, what's your thoughts I, on um the stock market shit? Like, black people just throwing they, all their little random bread to the motherfucker. Hey, man. I've had, no, I, mean, I thought it know, was dope. I loved it. But I'm just saying, Personally, like, um, like, everybody having... Just the fact that a group of people consciously cost a hedge fund $5 billion Yo, why, within three why? weeks. Because, let me ask you something. Because I don't know shit about shit about shit about the stock market. But I do know a lot right. of hedge funds, a lot of the investors in hedge funds are like <laughs> teachers, unions, people. Sometimes, yeah. Pensions. A lot of times, yeah. Yeah. Like right, and right, one hundred percent. Which is by design, by the way, for this hedge fund to fuck up. And I'm like, right, are we not cheering like for people, regular ass people whose lives again? I get it. There's a billionaire whose life no. got fucked up, but aren't there some people whose lives got fucked, whose retirements got fucked up in this? It's possible. It's possible. I don't know what Melvin Capital's portfolio mm-hmm. is. Um. I don't know that there's any um, pension, like teachers or firemen or whatever pension fund tied up in that. And, you know, the bottom line is like, there's a reason why Wall Street wants to do that. Like they want to hold normal people hostage and wrap them up in their own greedy ass self-interest. So they could be like, what do you mean? We're we're making money for yeah. for teachers and, and nice people too. So like, you got to save us. So that's, you know, that's consciously by design, but it's just the idea that these dudes try to convince everybody that they're the masters of the universe. They make all the money because only they know anything about the stock market. And literally just a group of amateurs decided, no, we're going to fuck yeah. these guys off up of me. real quick it's called and make a money stock. in the process. And this pump and dump, this pump and dump shit is what, like, this is what yeah. hedge funds live for. Except this time it was used against them. And the it was funniest just crazy. shit too was 
Niggas, <laughs> niggas basically had these old motherfuckers going on national TV, slandering the young niggas like, y'all life ain't shit. Y'all gonna be on Instagram. This shit not funny. <laughs> Had that old nigga hot, bro. He was on, he's on the stock show, bro. Just going in on niggas talking about young people are wasting their lives. Young men, suicide's gonna be yeah. high because they're only focused on their phone. You seen the disrespect where he was like, these people sitting at their homes with their government checks playing on the Robin Hood app. Disrespectful. It's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. M- m- mind you, our government gave Wall Street investors like five trillion dollars yep. during the pandemic. But that was fine. They sat Not home fat. and collected five trillion. But that was fine. That was okay. Anyway, fuck those dudes, man. But I mean, does bring up a point. There are sometimes, depending on the hedge fund, they they're controlling the the pension and the future retirement savings of you know legitimate, hardworking, blue collar people. And you know that's unfortunate. Yeah. But yeah, that whole episode. Hold your stocks, my nigga. Hold your stocks. All the rocket memes, all the hold the hold the line, all that shit. That shit had me crying. I I heard on on Levitard's show there's a guy who invested 100 grand and is worth 48 mil right now. Baller. My nigga, my nigga, if you listen to this shit, sell that shit, man. Sell Sell. right now, please. Cash out. Please sell. Hold this, hold that. You'll go right through and just go sell that shit. Well, nah, if you You up. Then yeah, now you gotta go. Forty eight mil. Yeah, Fuck, what are we? What are we I don't give a shit. What are we even talking about? I don't give a shit if someone tells you Yo, it could be worth two hundred mil tomorrow. I'm nah, out of here. It's cool. I'm, Ca- I'm good with forty eight. Cash out, especially cash niggas. Niggas is in there starting with fifty three k and overnight millionaires. I'm happy for y'all, my boys. Yeah, but don't nah. don't get caught up in these white people games. Mm-mm. Nope. Cash, cash out. <laughs> Cash Ca- out immediately. Cash the fuck out and retire or some <laughs> shit, bro. Factory. That's, Factory. That shit is hilarious. Factory. But yeah, nah, niggas is over here. Niggas is crypt. You got nigga nine-year-olds cryptocurrency owners now. <laughs> this shit is Yo, hard. Yo, I'm just trying to figure out how, how, how the bloods are handling. <laughs> that shit is crazy. crazy. How, how the bloods are handling this cryptocurrency. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got to go. We got to get out of here Thank you, note. Big Jerk. Thank you, Black Trade. Thank you, Big Waz. Thank you, Rob Lopez. On the one and twos, we'll see you next week. It's Black Opinions Matter, motherfucker.